What's up, Wolves? Today I am going to give you some practice opportunities to improve your hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination has to do with how well your hands and eyes can work together to complete or execute a task such as catching or throwing. Okay? We have our six C's here at West Maple. Collaboration is a C you're going to be using between your hand and eyes for your coordination as well. So, some of you may have a bean bag at home to start. If you do not have a bean bag, that is okay. You can simply create one by getting a Ziploc bag, all right, and then asking your parents or guardians for some rice. If you fill that Ziploc baggie, about three quarters, so 75%, all right, full of rice, and then zip it back up, it will work just as well, okay? Because my bean bag is not completely full of beans, all right? So, if you need to hit pause and go and find that, now's the time, all right? Now, I have a list here on the floor with a bunch of different exercises or tasks, I should say or challenges. Some are going to be harder than the others, okay? Feel free to hit pause after I give the demonstration of the task and then you can practice it for three or four or five times or a minute or however long you want and then you can hit play and resume and move forward with it. Alright? Okay. You will also need a landmark. So I have a poly spot on the floor. You could just simply get a paper plate and put that on the floor, all right? Now, I am gonna be tossing the beanbag up in the air a lot, and so if you are inside and your roof, your ceiling's a little bit lower, such as in your basement like mine is, you may want to bring these, this, your tablet or your device that you're working on right now or watching me on outside, okay? Or you can always watch this and then go outside and practice yourself. Now, this will just be part one. I will get to the rest of them next video. First thing I want you to do is take your bean bag or whatever you're using, get it nice and flat, and I want you to simply start at a medium level, bring it to a low level, toss it to a high level, and have it land on your, on your spot or your paper plate or wherever you have. Somewhere on it or in between you and that item. Do that a few times so that way that the, the bean bag is traveling straight up and straight down and you're not chasing it, okay? I know a lot of you have done this with me in class. I want you to stay put in your spot. You shouldn't be chasing it. All right, so that's number one. Number two, hold with both hands, toss with both hands, catch with both hands. You can do this up to three times. If you do it up to three times in a row and you catch it all three times, get ready and move on. Normally this is where I'll freeze and I'll wait for everyone to be done. The next task I want you to do is toss with two hands, catch with one. Toss with two, catch with the other. All right? The third one I want you to do is to toss with one hand, catch with two, toss with the other, catch with two. All right? Make sure you squeeze your fingertips. Remember what we talked about? Don't catch with your hand, you catch with your fingertips. Mr. Bojan did not squeeze his fingertips there. Next one I want you to do, rainbow tosses, rainbow tosses. Hold it out to one side, hold your other hand out to the other side, keep your eye on the bean bag or the Ziploc bag full of rice. Toss it up and over, watch it all the way in, toss it back. All right, you can do this a few times. Okay, make sure you're tracking the bean bag the full way. Next one, I want you to get your hand Flat, like you're getting ready to give a big high five, even though we really don't do those anymore. Spread your fingers out wide. Take your bean bag or your Ziploc baggie, spread it, flatten it out on top of your hand. I want you to toss it up on the, from the top of your hand, catch it on the way down on the bottom of your hand. Try it again with my other hand. Toss up, catch on the way down. All right? Then, I, this is the tricky one that I was talking about. I want you to reverse that, okay? My, my younger kids at kindergarten, first grade, second grade, your hands aren't as big yet, so this is going to be very difficult, okay? So you can move forward on the next one, or you can give it a chance. So, 
Remember when I talked about spreading your fingers out wide? I'm gonna hold the bean bag underneath of, on my hand, underneath my hand where it should be. Toss it up. Spread my fingers and catch it on top. Now what I did right there was called give it cushion. Okay? When you bend your hand down with it, it won't drop. If you don't bend your hand down, it'll just drop off the side. So you've got to give it some cushion. Alright? Okay? That's a hard one. All right, next one. Toss up, clap once, catch. Now let's add a clap. Toss up, two claps, and a catch. See how many claps I get here. I believe that was four. Try to beat that. Remember, you can always click pause. And resume. Now, I'm gonna try another tricky one. I'm gonna try to Toss it up, clap behind my back and catch. That was a weak clap, Mr. Bogiano. Toss, clap, catch. Alright? I will keep adding more and more difficult claps as we move forward. Okay? This is just level one. Next one. Try to gently catch it on different body parts. I'm gonna hold my elbow out. Okay? I'm gonna bring my Clench my fist, bring it to my chest, make kind of like a chicken wing, all right? So I'm gonna toss it up, give it cushion, catch it on my arm or chicken wing. The next one, I want you to start from low, a low level, you're gonna to toss low, catch high, all right? Toss low, catch high. Then I want you to reverse it, toss high, Catch low. How low can you go? Catch it right before it hits the floor. All right? Keep your eye on the bean bag. Next, I'm going to toss up, kneel down, and catch, and then try to reverse that. Start kneeling, toss, get up, and catch. Same thing, only toss, and now I'm going to try to sit down. Toss, sit down, catch. Toss from a seated position. Get up and catch. All right, this is a very difficult one. Try to catch it on the top of your foot. I want you to gently toss it and put your foot out. As you can see, it's not as easy as it looks. Okay, give, have your foot give a little cushion. Toss. Now, the next one, I want you to try to toss it and catch it on your foot. Gentle toss. Alright, see how I stuck my foot out? Nice, okay. So give that a couple tries. Once you do get on your foot or you need to just place it on your foot, go ahead. Again, this is a difficult one. Now, hold your hands up at your chest level. Have a little gap in between your hands. Look down. I want you to flick the, the bean bag up with your foot to your hands without lowering your hands. Alright, try that a couple times. You can also do it from your other foot. Okay. Alright, here is the one we are gonna end. We're gonna build up a little progression here for day one. Again, this is a very tough challenge. I'm gonna stand sideways so you guys can see, have a better view. Okay? So I'm gonna toss it up over my landmine. I want it to go straight up and straight down, remember, okay? And I'm gonna step underneath it and see which body part I catch it. Toss up, step under. Catch. Pause with my back. Alright? Notice how I got my arms out. Okay? I'll show you again from this angle. You don't throw it backwards. You throw it in front still, but you step underneath. Alright? Try that. Now, here is your final challenge of the day. Okay? You can try this as many times as you want, or you can just simply place it on your foot. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it on my first try. Caught on my foot. You ready? Flick it up, catch it on your back. Alright? That one is very difficult. I just have years of practice on you. I know that's frustrating at times. Alright? That skill right there, or that challenge. Do your best. If you cannot do it, 
All right, don't give up, keep practicing, and just start with the tossing underneath. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's level one for your bean bag challenges. Level two will be a little more difficult, and then we'll eventually get to some partner passing with the bean bag, all right? Hope you guys have a great one. Go outside, stay active, stay healthy.